Ooh, when I decided I was actually a singer, I was probably like 16, where I was like, okay, this is time to take it seriously. And you know, if I start saying it, people will believe it. I'm Lola Zuai, and this is On The Rise. My first real show as Lolo Zuai was not that long ago, it was like four years ago, and, and I just performed on stage with a laptop, and I was just playing my tracks and like singing with the mic. And I was so nervous and my voice was shaking, and right when I got off stage, I just like, I started crying. I went into the bathroom and I was like, I suck. And then, and then, you know, I think it just took some time to build up the confidence, but you need to have those kind of shitty shows at first where you feel bad and just so that you can kind of learn to get better so that you never have to feel that again. Cause I never want to feel that again. Releasing my album was probably one of my biggest accomplishments ever in my life, or if not the biggest. And it just felt good because I felt like I had no expectations, like I didn't feel any type of pressure. I know a lot of people are like, oh, you have so long to make your first album. But I kind of didn't feel that way. I feel like the second album is maybe slightly more pressure, but I just felt excited that I was able to share what I wanted to make. I am going on tour with Dua Lipa in Europe in April to June, which is gonna be exciting. I just met Dua like a week ago for the first time and we got along so well. She's really supportive and, and it's really exciting because I'm gonna be playing arenas. You know, first time, just me, Lolo me. I actually don't feel pressure for some reason. I feel like, because it's not my tour, it just feels like an exciting chance to, to have new fans and, and share the music with more people. But maybe, maybe once it approaches, I will get some stress. For now, I'm not, I'm not tripping. Dude, no celebrities are sliding in my DMs. <laughs> well, some musicians, like there's never been a, a sexual advance in the DMs yet. I'm looking forward to it though. I really wanna work with The Weeknd. All his music is great, but his first albums just really hit, hit me at my core. And I feel like we kind of have, I don't know, it would sound good together. I think. But I feel like collaborations, I just I just want them to be natural. So I don't want it to ever be forced. I mean, I just did a song with E40, which was like one of my biggest dreams in high school and in my whole life. And so I feel like anything is possible now, for real. I always think about this, but if I wasn't a singer, I think I would be a detective. Like seriously. I'm good, don't try me. But you know, I wanna be like Mariska Harjate in, in SVU, like Ben, you know, just Detective Zuai. You know? I have to be a cop first though. That's the only downside. You can be a private eye. Ooh, private detective, yes. Ooh, this is embarrassing. My first celebrity crush was Aaron Carter did not go good from there. I had a poster of Aaron Carter that I would kiss in the morning. My taste has, has gone up, I think, but you know, come get it. <laughs> no, 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 that's the song title, don't come get it. <laughs> I have Googled myself in my day because I am a private detective and I don't always like the results. I feel like the, the bad pictures of me are always at the top and I'm like, how does this happen? I read that I was half Japanese, which I don't mind. I'll roll with it, but I'm, def I'm definitely not Japanese. I'm half Algerian, half French. I don't feel like I made it yet to where I wanna make it, but I definitely feel like I've made it pretty far because I can support myself financially and I don't have to work at a restaurant anymore and I have an apartment and you know, the simple things that you kind of take for granted, I, I just, I'm very happy with. I get recognized sometimes in New York, in Paris, in Korea, South Korea and Seoul, which was probably one of the craziest things because I was just shopping and somebody was like, oh my God. That was a big moment for me and just being able to tour all over the world and see that my music has similar impact everywhere um, is, 
is a good feeling. In five years, I wanna have, I wanna have like, I wanna be bi-coastal. So I wanna have a place in New York and a place in LA, maybe even a place in, in Paris. Um, I wanna have several more albums out, have abs, <laughs> and just be, be happy. And it would be cool if my mom didn't have to work anymore. That would be great. Yeah, simple life.